Hi, welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV and today we are doing step two of how to get over a breakup in five steps. And in step two, it's all about digesting your emotions. Some of you are probably reading or hearing digesting your emotions and your you might be curious you might be perplexed as to what does that mean and how are you supposed to go about digesting your emotions well this is one of the most critical one of the most important key anchors if you will of getting over a breakup in fact, anytime you have any kind of a traumatic emotional event, it could be pretty much anything. You may have had, you know, a breakup is basically a giant argument, but you could have had a car accident, you could have had some sort of other traumatic event that happened to you that maybe affected you both physically and emotionally. And there's a certain series of sometimes negative emotions. You could have been in a car accident, a bike accident. There, I mean, it, there's infinite possibilities. The bottom line is that you experienced something that emotionally provoked either fear or worry. You may have been horrified, terrified. You may have had a bad, ugly gut feeling, um, but it, was, it could have been a shock to your system. So any kind of um, emotion that is in that realm that does not feel good. And clearly a breakup doesn't feel good to anybody. So it's, it's critically important that you digest your emotions. So what does it mean to digest your emotions? I'm, great. I'm glad that you asked that question. So what it means to digest your emotions, that means that you are going to process inside your body the emotions that you felt when the, bro the breakup experience took place and after. Because make no mistakes, that elicited your first and second and third energy centers in your body. It evoked a fight or flight response. You, have, you were in a argument, you know, there were complaints that were exchanged. There was an energy of fighting and defending oneself or just being in deep sorrow and saying this is not working and the parting of a ways. It could have even been um, somewhat of a calmer uh, type of situation, but you need to digest whatever emotions you are feeling at that time. And if you don't digest those emotions, if you do not process them, they don't go away. That is an energy that is created inside your body and it will be stored somewhere into, into your body until you decide that it's time to face it. And only you can use your free will to face those emotions and allow them to process. And as they process, they dissolve. Now, one of the things that I have learned as a certified integrative regression technology hypnotist and NLP um, programmer is that you, in fact, your brain is an organ that is used to store past thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And based on whatever you experience in a 360 degree realm, your brain is occupying this space and it places things in your memory. There's a, a fractional part of memory that it's stored in your head as a certain thought. And then it takes the emotions that you felt depending on your depth perception, you see what you see, you hear what you hear, you smell what you smell, you taste what you taste, you feel what you feel with your different sensory systems, and it perceives in the 360 degree spherical space that you're actually physically in, it will store in your body the energy pattern of those emotions in your body. So if you, some people will notice that that energy might be stored at the base of their neck. It could be stored in their gut. It could be stored in the base of their spine, in their lower back. It could be stored anywhere. 
and that energy pattern will continue to be there as an unresolved emotion until you're ready to face it and process it and digest it. Just as you have, you want to have good food health and digestive health for the food that you consume, you should have good emotional health and digest the emotions that you have and not suppress and depress them and instead feel them and resolve them. What will oftentimes happen to people is if you just deny that and you decide to, you know, the Nile. Denial is not just a river in Egypt. Mm -mm. Denial is something you need to address and stop denying yourself. So you need to face those emotions and allow yourself a time to resolve, to face those and let them purge, let them come out, let, you, let your body feel what it needs to feel so that it, the energy then shakes out. You may even need to physically and this is something that you'll see in wildlife. You'll see animals do this. Cats, dogs, birds, ducks, lions, tigers, you name it. All animals know that once, once they are engaged in some sort of situation where they're either being pursued, either they're predator or prey, it doesn't matter. That is a high energy response time where they are either chasing or they're fleeing and or they're fighting after that exercise is done and it is it is a gross pulling of energy in order to survive so just the same for the predator as for the prey the predator because they need food they need to survive they need to catch that prey the prey they want to live so they want to escape this predatory attack once that's over let's say that both of them survive, you'll see. You see animals, dogs, they do this all the time. They'll shake all over. You see babies do this. You see children do this until it's conditioned out of you not to, of course. But you can do the same thing. You can just shake it all out. Shake, 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 shake it all out. Shake, 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 shake it all out. And you can jump in place, shaking it all out, top to bottom. I know, I probably look really silly doing this. Don't worry, you don't have to embarrass yourself doing this in front, of, but in front of anybody else. You can do this in the privacy of your own home, in your own bedroom, in your own house, wherever it is that you might be. But you can shake it all out and you're going to shake your body all out, top to bottom, top to bottom. You want to bounce on your feet at the same time because you're shaking it all over. You also want to, at the same time, you're also giving your lymph system, you're flushing out your lymph system. Your lymphatic system is actually flushing out when you bounce on the balls of your feet, much like boxers. You see that boxers, they usually bounce, they're, they're springing on their feet. That is giving them a lymphatic flush and that'll give you a lymphatic flush. So shake your whole body out, just shake it. Uh, Aaron Dottie has a video where he talks a little bit about healing his inner child, the wounds of, of childhood. You might wanna watch that. That's a great video that he talks I'm not going to go really, really in depth. I just, this video is step two of how to get over a breakup in five steps. And so I think it's important that you understand what it is that you're doing to your body and how important it is. Uh, one of my mentors, Dr. David Snyder, who is also a program sponsor of Love and Money Secrets TV, in one of our classes, and several of our classes that I've taken with him while I've gotten certified, he, he talks about the fact that, you know, if you don't resolve, you don't allow yourself to process those emotions, that is going to be stored in your subconscious mind and it's there in the background running. It's sucking energy from you, running as an unconscious program in the background, much like you have background programs running on your computer. And when you're not thinking about anything, if you don't do this with this breakup, what's going to happen is you're going to be driving, happy, not thinking about anything. Maybe you're like, oh, you know, you're on your way to get a haircut. You're on your way to the store. You're on your way to your next appointment. You're happy, jolly. You're not thinking about anything in particular. And your subconscious mind will say, oh, she's not thinking about anything now. She's relaxed. She's happy and joyous. Now is the time to deal with this stuff. So that ugly thought and the feelings and emotions that are linked 
to that memory, start bubbling up and you'll think about the breakup. And of course that brings you down, makes you sad, might make you angry. And you're like, oh, I don't wanna think about that now. And what do you do? You stuff it back down because you're on your way to your appointment and it's not an opportune time. You don't need to wait to be caught off guard from your subconscious pulling that up. It will also come up in your dream state, or some of you might consider that a nightmare. Depends on how you want to think about it. But if you don't take care of it in your conscious waking moments, then it is something that will come up in while you're sleeping because that's when you're relaxed. The moment your brain goes into an alpha, then theta state, it's going to bubble up at some point in time because your body is trying to keep you healthy. It's trying to keep homeostasis in your system so that you don't have an, you don't have something that's an energy drag, an energy leak that's sucking the life out of you. Make no mistakes, this is an energy leak. It is something that will cause the lack of ease in your body. It will create inflammation. And if you don't tend to it, in due time, as these start to stack up one on top of each other, because you have many emotional things that haven't been resolved and dissolved and digested, it will create disease. We don't want that. Again, you want to feel as good as possible as quickly, learn the lessons from this experience, and move on. So step two, I can't emphasize enough how paramount in importance and significance it is to digest your emotions. So allow yourself to feel it, cry it out, do the shaking of the body so that you release the vibrational frequency of that energy trauma that is stored in your body wherever it might be. And you might have to do that aspect of it, of the shaking of the body. You may not, you might come to a point where you no longer cry, but you might still feel things in your body and you might need to shake it out. I could go on. There's so many things that, that are tied to this component because this strategy of how to get over a breakup in five steps, you can use this five, these five steps, not just for getting over a breakup, but anytime you have any kind of a negative emotion, you can go back to this and this will help you move on and feel better. And this is just going to teach you. These five steps are basically steps to emotional hygiene. That's really what it's all about. So that's it. We're going to keep it short and sweet. I want to show you real quick. As you know, you can tap into um, my YouTube channel and you'll see here under my videos under the channel how to get over a breakup in not only five steps, but we also have a testimonial up now. I'm going to do a little close up here on the camera. Thank you for tuning in, tapping into Love and Money Secrets TV and this series on how to get over a breakup in five steps. Ciao for now. Oh, and do remember to put comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback after you did step one, step two. Let me know how you felt before, what you felt after. I would love for you to go onto my Facebook page, friend me, let me know that you saw this video, and I would love you to post on my wall a Facebook Live video where you say, hey, I did step one, this is what happened, I did step two, this is what I felt. I would love to hear your before and after, and then even after several weeks or months, I would love to hear an update as to how you're doing. So that's it. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in, and turning on. Ciao for now.